guys and welcome to your birthday reading. So I've been wanting to do birthday bonuses for a while now and I just never got around to it. But today something just told me to start with you guys and it had to do with me wanting to use the element of fire as the as the what? I don't really know. I don't know what the fire was going to be, what it really stood for yet. I think that's what we're going to find out in your reading. But, okay, so let's just see. We're going to obviously do um, intuitive. We're just going to flow today, see where we start. Happy birthday to all of the Aries. If you um, haven't already put your birthday in the comments below so that we can wish you happy birthday. So we have go the distance and it's in reverse number 47. So this means it's a protective message. Let's see, go the distance. Do you feel as if you've been wandering in the desert now for ages and ages and nothing has happened? When you conjure up the image of the desert, you picture parched lips, sunburnt skin, and migraines, but there's more to it than that. Amongst the hot sand are creatures with, wow, okay, um, high spirits, tough skins, and the willingness to burrow deep underground for water so that they may thrive. This is a time of developing survival, survival skills. You are learning how to conserve your strength. And in this temporary time, it is wise to be selective about where you put your energy. Listen to the call of your soul because it will never lead you astray. This is an important time for letting go of what is not important. It's almost like you need to let go of something to be able to go to where you want. But right now you may be stagnant in limbo. You know, it's like if life is always one way and then all of a sudden it goes the other way. It's not to ruin your life. It's to teach you something. It's to get you to stop and think for a second, right? Because sometimes during those moments we even realize that what we what we were doing, we're like chasing after something or chasing after someone and we get so worked up at doing that then we forget why we were even chasing after that thing or that person. So it's almost like this may be for some of you a time to stop and really look at your surroundings, right? I always find birthday months are months of reflection. At the bottom of the, de the deck we have um, all that glitters. So all that glitters isn't gold, right? Not everything you want is good for you. Not everything you're attracted to, you know, is meant for you. And it's funny because I wanted to use the gold tarot deck um, and we get this all that glitters. So I think that's like calling me to, to use this deck now, but I just wanna say that you have a leg up and you need to realize that, you know, you may need help. It's okay to accept help. You can't do everything on your own. Because some of you guys, you need help or you're in the position where somebody's gonna come to you for help. Either way, I'm hearing two is better than one. Some of you, you feel like you have to do everything yourself, but if you get help, there will be like this mutual beneficial energy of, you know, Whoever's helping you, there's something that you're going to be able to help them with as well. And it's really going to get you to the next level. We have exchanging gifts, which is in reverse here, showing me that you need to believe that what you give is what you're going to get. That if you have a dream, regardless of how huge you think that dream is, how possible you think that dream is, anything is possible, you got to realize that 
what you give, right? If you act every single day, like you have accomplished that um, goal, that dream, that you are living the life you would have if you had that dream, that goal, of everything around, it's like you're the magnet. Oh my gosh, I'm literally seeing magnets. I see, you know that big magnet? Um, like say a big magnet that every little magnet can, you know, attach, can go towards. It's like, whatever you decide is possible is what's going to be possible. you need to realize that you don't like work for the universe the universe works with you right what you focus on is what you're going to create okay i just feel like there's a lot of pausing it's almost like it's really just time for a rest. Aries are full of energy, right? Sometimes you just need to just take a breather. The chariot. Take that breather while you can because honey, you have some beautiful things coming your way. you are going through like some sort of like um you know like a dark night of the soul kind of maybe you feel like really weak very tired like low on energy some of you guys it's almost like having symptoms of being sick without even actually being sick you know what i mean like you're just not feeling yourself um uh, maybe you've even been not really Focus on your routine, whatever the case may be. It's because you're stripping a part of you and you are going to be going through this rebirth. You're shedding a layer of your skin that is no longer serving you anymore. And as you're shedding this layer, you're also gaining this wisdom. It's like if the universe gave us a present, you know how Santa would give you a present? If the universe gives you a present, um, if you pass the lessons that you're meant to learn in this year, and like the gift from the universe could be the gift of anything, right? But it would be a huge gift. It's like you're on your way towards that. For some of you, you have too many options or you're thinking of too many things. Maybe you're thinking of other people. When, yeah, with the Nine of um, Pentacles, you need to be thinking of yourself. The Three of Wands here, thinking of yourself, thinking of your future, because what you want is coming towards you, and it's coming towards you quickly. This is that energy where it's like, you gotta be careful what you wish for because you're capable of having it, and you can make it happen. Like, you're the type of person where you say something and then you do it, and people are wondering, like, how the heck did you, that, you know, you how did you even do that? Like, they're stuttering. They're literally, like, so impressed with you, but to you, it's like a day-to-day -day thing. That's just your life. And they also don't see all the hard work that you put in. Like to you, it's like, oh my God, are you kidding? I've been working on this forever. So people see you. Let's look into how people see you. But people see you as someone that's determined, as somebody, it's almost like you're the magician, you're the manifester. And I keep looking at this at the back of the uh, deck. The magician, you're the manifester. You're manifesting things. people feel like they're like in awe at the things that you've accomplished or just there's this you may be the type of person that motivates people 
by being around you. Like the energy that you give off is very, um, oh, I'm hearing even mothering, very nurturing even as well. If you care about somebody, you really, really care about someone and people really admire that about you. I'm not gonna pull these because that's too many. The strength card. So you have the strength and we have the chariot so far um, that are majors. We have the seven of wands. Lots of fire energy, yeah, and the queen of wands. And I just feel like I should pull this one. Okay, the knight of pentacles here. For some of you, this is related to, um, yeah, strong Leo, Leo energy here. Um, but I feel like you, oh wow, look at this, Leo, Leo everywhere. Um, there is, it's like you're really realizing who you are. I don't think you knew how amazing you were, but now you do. And, um, People are stunned. I'm hearing you're stunned. For some of you, it's like everybody was already stunned. You're only realizing now just how stunning you truly are. You have no idea how amazing you are and how much of um, an influence you have on other people. They see how hardworking you are, how determined you are. Like People speak about you in a very passionate way. This is kind of like reminding me of like, I'm thinking of like a celebrity or somebody that's well known, right? For people, people have to know you for you to inspire them. It's like you inspire people to be a better version of themselves. I'm hearing if only you could inspire yourself the same way you can inspire others. If you could take your own advice, oh my goodness, you would be unstoppable. You're going to get to that point where you are unstoppable, but it is going to take you. You know, there are some lessons along the way, and it looks like you've just graduated from one here with the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands. I love that. It's like you're conquering any obstacle that comes your way because you're always, some of you, it's like you're always one step ahead. Always one step ahead. Yeah, but something that you've been working on for a very long time is going to be coming into fruition. And then with the sun, I forgot we had the sun here at the bottom of the deck here. It's almost like, I definitely feel like this energy of your hard work paying off within a second, right? Some of you, it's be careful what you wish for because like I said, it's going to come true. And for some of you, you always wanted to be in the spotlight. Now with you being the queen of wands, this is almost like having to get a bodyguard all of a sudden. You know those people that like blow up overnight? It's very rare energy like that, like one, oh, um, like one in a million kind of energy. And it was all always reachable for you. You just didn't see that it was. I wonder what it was. If you know, write it in the comments. What was it that made you realize, you know, you could do anything you wanted? It was the biggest thing that ever boosted your confidence. Some of you, it was something that you learned from a female. Somebody that you looked up to, whether you know them personally or you're just inspired by them. But Aries, you should be very proud of yourself. This is some very powerful, very strong. I said this in the Scorpio reading that I felt called to do yesterday. And some of you I'm hearing that may be a sister reading to this. So even if you don't have Scorpio placements, I'm hearing you should watch that one. Um, but what was I gonna say? Something about that reading. I don't know, I guess you'll just have to watch it. I cannot remember, it'll come back to me. Oh yeah, it was about how I would write down a list. Instead of writing down a list of my goals for the year, I write down a list of my achievements that I've done at the end of the year. So instead of the beginning of the year, my list of what I want to accomplish, at the end of the year, I have a, um, a, like a whole uh, piece of lined paper and I have to complete from like top to end, something that I'm proud of that I've accomplished throughout the year. And that way I don't have like limitations because what I think is a huge goal to me could actually be a limitation based on what my life purpose truly is because I don't really know how high I'm truly able to go until I start seeing it. 
So that opens all possibilities. And I know at the end of the year, like I'm, I have a, full, a page to fill out and I want to get better and better. So it makes me push for, you know, better and better. And it looks like that's kind of like, if you guys haven't done that, this is the year where you could actually, you know, have that list or say, I was, you know, just starting and I could only think of like half a list. And this is the day that you finally get that whole list of things that you've accomplished um, throughout a year of things that you're proud of that you've accomplished throughout the year. I'm hearing just say yes, just say yes. Some of you just need to say yes. Um, I'm hearing the door is not what you're going to, you're going to say yes to everything almost because it's like the door is, the door is, um, it's a door that's unexpected, a door that you would, I'm hearing, you would really despise taking that door, but that's the door that's going to lead you where you need to be. That may be the give, right? What you give is what you're going to get. That may be the thing that you have to give in exchange for all the happiness that you're getting, right? It may be something that you don't think you'll enjoy giving, but you end up, you know, either finding a way to enjoy it um, or you just end up enjoying it in general. Temperance and, whoa, these are very intense cards that keep coming out. Jeez, a lot of major arcana, life-changing energy. Um, sorry, Temperance and the Hierophant. <sighs> I feel like there's so many blessings coming in here. But you definitely have to, there's something that you're needing, you're being asked to give. And I'm not able to tell you. <laughs> I can just feel it so strong. Half the mission is figuring out what it is. But uh, like, honestly, 80%, oh wow, 88% they're saying. 88% of you already know what this is. <sighs> okay, I am going to, what next? <laughs> Let's do some of these. These are the soul's journey. The soul's journey. Help. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Yes, yes, yes. This is about working, overworking, overworking yourself and not taking care of yourself because you're so focused on attaining a certain goal, attaining a certain thing. When you have to realize that it, what is all, what good is all of that money or all of that whatever it is that you've been focused on, if you haven't been taking care of yourself while you're, you know, trying to get it, you have to put health first. You need to make health a priority right now. Um, eating better, look like you're gonna feel better on the outside based on what you are doing inwards. So for some of you, this is about like seriously creating a workout routine. And for Scorpios personally, I think that, um, and I think that there's this energy of, because of the Mars, I always think, you know, working out in fuel and Aries are ruled by Mars too. So the reason why I'm saying this is for the both of you, there could be something within like maybe like intense cardio you know maybe that's about releasing something or if you're trying to build something maybe it would be like building your body right um because one thing i always say is that when i'm weight training trying to like gain weight or trying to like bulk i always feel like what's the word i always feel like invincible like I turn my body from this to that. Like if I can change my body, I can change anything. And I don't know if anybody else feels like that, but for me, like with all of that energy, because I do feel like there's this energy of, you know, Scorpio and Aries together because of the Mars energy, we do experience a lot of similar things. And I feel like it's just a good way to release because of all that Mars, right? Sometimes you just need to like find that place where we can escape, where we can like let it all out. For some of you, I'm even seeing like kickboxing. There's some kind of exercise um, or activity that you need to have. So 
I know you need to definitely, well, I mean, like, it sucks right now, everything's closed, but maybe there's, like, some sort of, like, virtual thing that you can join, or you can just, like, I literally do my YouTube. I, like, go on YouTube, and I type in what I want to work out, and I work out with somebody on YouTube every morning. Like, I don't go to the gym. I don't like going to the gym. So it's, like, you don't have to go to the gym, or you don't have to, you know, technically join a thing, but you can, like, make your own version of it. Um, in your own space, whatever the case is, but there's this energy of really needing to to put health first and instead of thinking more towards like food, it was like exercise, staying fit, staying physical, right? Especially if you are not working right now, or, you know, if you are in a strict lockdown, it's like you're definitely going to need to get your body moving. Even just like a walk. You know, but like a run though, a run though would be so much better. Like it just the energy that you need, it's going to really benefit you. So, and I mean, like, I don't want to say that you could do meditation or you could do yoga because to be honest, like, yeah, for sure do that. But I do feel like you need something that's more high paced, something that's more upbeat. That's what's going to benefit you right now. There's something that gets released as you're working out, and that's what you need to focus on. Some of you, this is going to be like your biggest stress reliever. Some of you, if you have an addiction, this is what's going to help you get over your addiction. health even though it's your birthday you know with everything that's going on still make sure that you're being safe you know there's so many different ways that it could mean but I'm not going to take these we have abundance and grief I just want one to come out oh patience I accept that everything happens in divine order yes patience knowing that what's for you is going to be for you no matter what but you need to have patience. Especially if it's, you know, health. You're trying to eat healthier. You're trying to work out more, you know, whatever the, whatever the case it is. Things don't happen overnight. You know, you have to give yourself some time to settle into it. So being okay with that. Yeah. All right, Aries, so that is what I have for you. I hope that this resonates with you, and I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I wish you guys all a happy birthday. Make sure to leave your um, your information in the, or sorry, your birthday in the description so we can wish you all a happy birthday. And other than that, if you would like to be part of the giveaways, feel free to look in the description box where all the information for the giveaways is. All right, guys, I love you guys. I just wanted to take a moment of your time to let you guys know that there's something really exciting coming, something that I've been working on for about a year now in the making. Um, there's going to be a new website and a new brand that I'm going to be launching in April. This is going to be a bunch of different spiritual products that I have worked really, really hard on with my team. Ones that I think you guys are all going to be very interested in. I think there's going to be a little something for everybody. Um, so if you want to be one of the first people to know to have access to this, follow me on my personal Instagram Raise Runway as that is where I'm going to be announcing uh, when we are going to launch and how everything is going to work and slowly showing you guys the products that I've been working on. So I am just so excited you guys. If you guys could just go over there and support me that would mean the entire world to me and even just listening to this right now means the entire world to me. So we're just going to get back into your reading but I am really excited to share with you guys all the things that I've been working on.